Hello, this is Noreen Crone Finlay from CroneFinlay.com and TottyTalksCrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to weave this darling little bunny on the Thumbelina loom. As you can see, this little bunny just fits very nicely in the palm of your hands and it's terribly sweet. Now, what do you need to weave the little bunny, the Thumbelina loom bunny? Well, you need, of course, Thumbelina loom and yarn and the weaving stick and needle and uh, scissors and you will need a little bit of stuffing and two little tiny black beads and that should do it. Oh, and a needle that goes through the tiny black beads. Now, I have already woven the two arch shapes that make the bunny's body. And so what I'm going to do is, I'll just set this aside for a moment. I'm going to stitch those together leaving an opening for stuffing. And so I'll put the these yarn ends inside and I'll just whip stitch around the outside edges. So the body is two arch shapes. The head is also woven on the Thumbelina loom and the ears are shaped at the same time as weaving the head. Now you only need one uh, shape to make the head of the bunny. So it's three little shapes and that's your bunny. So it's very quick and easy. Afterwards we'll put the tail on once the bunny is stitched together and stuffed. So just quickly whip stitching these edges together and you stitch around. Now the yarn that I'm using is hand spun so it has all kinds of fun um, variations in color and I really like it. Okay now I'm going to stuff the the um, body and you don't have to put a whole lot of stuffing in. There we go. Maybe a tiny bit more. And then you stitch the straight edges together and once that's done we'll set it aside. So still working with the tail end here of the yarn. So when I'm stitching the straight edge together, what I'll do is I'll go through the loops that are formed in the weaving. I see that my battery light is flashing at me. I'll finish. I think it'll turn itself off pretty quickly, so I'm just going to finish stitching this together and then I'll change the battery and be right back. There we go, I made it. Okay, what we uh, will also be doing then is leave, uh, we'll take, if you have a yarn end, take it back to the middle of the body and bring it out on top. Decide which side is going to be the top or the lower side. I think I like the plain pink. Okay, since the, the camera is saying that it wants a new battery. I'm going to go do that and then we'll start on the head. To make the tail for the bunny, cut 12 inches of yarn, thread it into your needle, and then I'm going to thread both ends in. Then I'll take the yarn 
and stitch at the back here on the top. Now I'm going to see how I have the loop there. I'm going to leave hmm, that's about a half an inch or a centimeter of a loop from the center and I'm just going to keep stitching now through it to give myself the little bunny tail here that is needed. Well, I'm not giving it to myself, I'm giving it to the bunny, but you know, to make the, the little bunny tail. And you just keep going through that loop over and over and over with two strands of yarn. Come on, bunny, stop jumping around. Okay. And when you're happy with the tail, take the ends around and then go into the lower side of the body, the bottom, and weave the ends all the way in on the bottom side. And then if their tail ends like that sticking out, thread them back into the needle and push them back inside the body. There we go. There's the body with the little tail. Now let's start on the bunny's head. The bunny's head is woven from the curved side of the Thumbelina loom. Now the loom is warped following the instructions in that come with the loom and it's prepared that way. But instead of having the weaving stick up here, we have the weaving stick at the straight edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the yarn down to the um, down to the curved side and I'm going to start, I'm going to weave all the way across the loom over one, under one and because I am bringing the yarn down I'll need to sort of secure it just with my thumb and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the yarn into place against the nails. There we go. I'm going to weave short rows, skipping yarn warp strands at either side so I can fill the curve. So I will scooch back in and I'm going to skip the last warp strand there and pull all my yarn through, push it down against the nails and I'm going to weave a short row skipping the last two uh, warp strands there. And pushing the weaving into place. And then I will weave a very short row. And so within about four rows of doing the short rows, three or four rows of short rows, it will fill in the curve. And now when I weave on this row, I'm going to go all the way to the edge and then I'll come back all the way to the edge on the other side as well. I'm only going to weave halfway up the loom. Well, not quite even halfway for the head and then the um, then the ears will be woven separately. OK. 
Okay, and this time I'm going all the way back across the row. There we go. So remember, by having the weaving stick placed under every other row, uh, every other warp strand, it does mean that that row is kind of your home free row. You don't have to pick up each strand because the weaving stick is holding it in place for you. And now that I've woven two rows across and I'm just about at the top of the hole at the back, I'm going to start pulling in the head. So this row I'm going to pull in to make a curve. See how that's curving in on that side? And I want this side to curve in too to shape the top of the head. So I'm going to give that an almighty tug. There we go. Good. So I now have the top of the head shaped. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the weaving stick out. I'm going to lift the middle um, strand of yarn off and just place it on the middle nail. That, that middle loop has now gone from this nail and is just placed here to be out of the way. And each of the ears will be worked on the three loops that are on the three side nails on each side. This end is a bit in the way, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to go under all three strands, make a loop, and kind of like doing, um, well, it is a half hitch. It's kind of like doing the blanket stitch, but I've just pulled those the ear strands in. And so I'm going to go under two, over two, and then over two, under two, over two. I'm going to do that a few times to make, so what I want, see how the ear is kind of bulgy here? So we want that to be a bit flower petaled out. And so that's why I'm going over under all the strands now. And then, once I've done that back a couple of times, I'm going to take this loop and place it onto the adjacent nail. So now I'm going to go under three strands and over three strands. And there we go. And I'm pulling in now to shape the ear. Pulling in that petal shape. And when I'm about a quarter inch from the top, I'm going to take a loop that is on the outside nail and place it onto the center nail of the three. And now I'm going to go through all of the strands, all of the loops that are on that nail. Pull up pretty tightly on them. I think I'll, eventually I'll weave the, the uh, either clip that end or weave it in. There we go. And this ear is done. So I'm going to just 
go down, I'm going to lift it off the nail and I'm going to stitch I want to go down to the uh, base of the ear so I'm just stitching down I'm going to take a stitch in the center of the head mm, I'll take it through those through that wrap there just to secure that so it doesn't make a sort of gap oops this guy's popped off get back on there and now I'm going to go through the center then I'll do the same half hitch that I did before so I make a loop by holding the yarn out and then I come under all of the loops of warp in the second ear. Now I'm going to pull up and that'll lock them. There we go. And now I will weave the second ear in exactly the same way I did the first one. So over two, under two. I try to line my stitching, my weaving, my shaping up to match the first ear as much as possible. There we go. And now I lift the I lift this loop to the center and place it on the adjacent nail and I weave over under so that I'm going over under three strands I'm pulling in to shape that ear One more, and then I'm going to lift the outside loop and place it on the middle. And then, just as I did before, I'm going to stitch through all three loops that are on that center nail. Now I'm going to lift the bunny head off the loom. And just the same way that I stitched down to get to the center, I'm going to do that as well. and take it through the loops at the base of the ear to secure it. And I need to weave this end in as well. I could have woven it in while I was doing the weaving, but I didn't. That's okay. I'll just run it down inside the weaving. Now, this is going to be the inside of the head. We have the loop from the middle. We have the ends from the ears. So, what I'm going to do now, there, turn it over so you can see there's the, there's the bunny head before I do any shaping. Okay, and now I'm going to cut another piece of yarn and use that to gather the edge of the bunny head. 
So I'm going to take a couple of stitches at the center of the head between the ears just to secure my end. So stitch in place a couple of times. There we go. And now I'm going to go through the wraps at the base of the ear. And I'm going to do sort of long, long-ish stitches around the outside of the bunny head. If you've ever made a yo-yo circle, that's kind of what we're doing right now. So now I'm going to take a tiny little bit of stuffing, make a ball with it, and plunk it in the middle of the bunny's head. And I'm going to pull up There we go. Pulling up. There we go. Now, there is, I haven't pulled it all the way shut because you don't really need to. Because what you're going to do now is stitch the bunny head onto the bunny body. And I have the extra end uh, from the body coming out at the middle there because sometimes I run out of yarn and so it's nice to just have that little bit extra but this time I cut enough that I don't really need to worry about it so maybe what I'll do is I'll just snip it off because I don't really need it there okay so now bunny's head get stitched. I'm going to kind of pinch the body up so that it kind of comes in and fills that gap there. So kind of go past the stuffing and we stitch the bunny head to the bun bun body. And you kind of go through both layers of the body at the front, and that kind of helps to define the paws, the front paws. There we go. And You can do, I'm sort of doing the stitching really kind of quickly and roughly to just to get the, the um, bunny done so that I'm not taking forever in the video. And the next thing that we do is I will just pick up and show you on the white bunny what I did. And that is to stitch little black beads the eyes and to make a little X with pink yarn for the nose and mouth. And then you will end up with a very sweet bunny woven on Thumbelina. Okay, so the eyes are just little black beads. Now if you're going to give this to a small child, don't use beads. Do uh, French knots with embroidery. And the nose is a little tiny little X made with pink wool. So you go, you take it, you'll do stitches at the back to secure the yarn. 
bring it out, go down to here, come up, across, in, and then you'll secure your stitches at the back. And that's that's the bunny is done. So it's a very quick, easy, and very sweet and fun little treat to weave on the Thumbelina loom. I'll just take that yarn in back inside and snip it off. Ugh, it's pushing bits of stuffing out. How rude of it. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Bunnies. Bunnies to weave. There, spread their little spread their little ears out. Little bunnies to weave on the Thumbelina loom. So happy weaving. Enjoy your Thumbelina loom and happy bunnies. I just wanted to mention one more thing, and that is that I stitched, I pulled the sides together and stitched them on the bottom of the bunny here. And that just shapes the body quite nicely. So, two little Thumbelina bunnies ready to cuddle. There we have them.